into uh, UV texturing. So we're going to need, you click Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor, to have this window. And now if you select the object, you can see the UV map isn't very nice. This won't bake very good at all. And you come to do your UV map. So we need to create a new one. So how we're going to do that? We're going to select first object. Just going to go create UV, planar, and then we're going to go back into the object, select it. Just going to isolate so we can focus just on this object. I'm going to select one of the edges at the back, what's not very visible in the model. I'm going to use this button, the UV texture editor window which says, when you keep the mouse over it, the tooltip reads, separate the UV along the selected edge. I'm just going to click that once. And now I'm going to hold Control, right click in the UV window, go to Shell, and then to UV. Now we're going to use this one, which is a smooth UV tool. And you'll see it brings up this unfold and relax thing. I'm just going to unfold. That's the UV for this object now unfolded. We're going to do the same with all the objects and obviously some objects are going to be more complicated than others. So if I isolate this one, we're going to go to create UV, play normal. Uh, some people might ask why don't I use automatic mapping and that's because plain and simple it's garbage. So to do this cylinder, double click the edge, double click the bottom edge but then take away this one what it selects. And we also need to remove um, one on the side. I'll show you that process again over here. Double click, select the edge loop, and then just remove one of the edges. So you end up with this kind of selection. And I hit cut, control to shell, to UV. And then fold that. As you can see. It takes some time to unfold it nicely, but keep going at the unfold process and there we go. Now we're going to go select something a little bit more complicated but it's not that difficult is one of these. So we're just going to do the same process, create UV planar and for this we're going to want the edge seams on the inside here. So we're going to select this edge, this one. But we also need to split across the side there. And just continue selecting that edge all the way around to this corner. Cut this edge across there. Now I'm not going to cut this edge, otherwise we'll end up with two separate shells, which we don't want. So I'm going to go control to shell, to UV, fold, and you see, should end up with something that's like that. Now you could leave the edge ones together, but then you'd end up with a bit of stretching in the UV. Excuse me. So we know this object. This object is the same as this. So why are we going to UV map it twice? We're not going to delete it. Duplicate, which also duplicates the UV map what we created. Put it at a negative value again. And I can show you that they're two separate shells. If I go in the UV window and hit this one, look 
that looks like a little tetra skin and you can see that two separate shelves so now we're going to map the main plate so we're going to go to the planar map and up the UV window and for this we actually want to select this edge loop which separates the concrete from the barrel itself. So we're going to select that whole edge loop, click cut. Now you want to select one of the faces and then go into your UV window, hold control, go to shell, go to UV, hit that unfold button and you should end up with something like that. So that will be um, your concrete texture. The rest is pretty much similar. So we're going to hide the seam down the back. So to do that, select this edge. Just trying to deselect these two. Deselect two in the center. Double click that. Please select one of them, hit cut, select one of the faces to shell the UV and just unfold that. I want to keep going until it's square with a circle. And there we go. So we, we UV mapped everything. So we select all the objects and see there's some overlap between UVs. Press the button that looks like Tetris again, which is select faces to be moved in UV space. Now I'm just going to click that and you can see what happens here. It doesn't look very nice. We could get better space. In. I'm just going to check the settings which you pull up by right clicking I want to go bounding box apply want the stretch to be uniform alright so that's not really giving us the effect that we want because we want to keep this part nice and straight so we're going to go to shell and we're just going to manually rotate this around so that this leading edge sides is straight like that select all the objects to UV to shell just position this shell a little bit better We don't want to alter the size of the shells too much as they're what is known as uniform. So we're just going to position these so we can texture it a little bit easier for somebody that's never done texturing before. I'm going to leave the concrete here. This is a steel pin. I'm going to move over here. Might as well take the same texture. Position these two down here because that's the three point hitch okay so we're gonna go to shell uh, sorry I'm gonna select all the objects go to UV I'm gonna go polygons UV snapshot it's gonna bring up this option it's gonna say um, what size do you want the texture oh I only want 1024 and it's going to be outputted into the wave tutorial folder which I made earlier and it failed to open the images folder so the quick way to fix that is just hit render and it will render a picture of your model now go UV snapshot click OK and you see it now made us the picture that we need so we can close the UV window because we've done with UV mapping